And it's week four of teaching your dog to not door dash with Joel and Payne for Mocking Paw Training and Kennels for your Training Tuesday. What we can do is we can train our dogs to stay on a mat and what we do is we place that strategically five to ten feet away from the door so when the door is opening and closing that we can have our dogs go and stay on the mat. So in episode number one, we taught your dogs what the mat was. In episode number two, we taught them targeting. In episode number three, we added the target to the mat so that we can send them from a distance. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work on stay. If your dog does not have a good stay, we start with both duration and verbal distraction. Duration means the time that they're in the stay and verbal distraction means that I can have a conversation and my dog's not getting up and ignoring me because they are listening for certain location specific markers. For her, the release off the mat would be free. You have to be very careful in your choice of words if you always use the word okay to get your dog um, to allow them to get up. Other people can release your dogs as well because okay comes out of our mouths quite often. So I'm not really working on distance stays, stays today because distance is something that we need to add after we have a really good duration and verbal distraction stay. So our once we start working on distance, you see a lot of people that will do this, stay, 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 and they'll back away from their dog. That's not really a stay, that's you just repeating something over and over again. If we tell our dogs to stay, stay, we wanna be able to tell them to stay and turn around and walk away just like this. But we have to get our duration first. Amber, touch, thank you, go to your mat. So when I tell her to stay, I'm gonna then put my hand away. I am not going to leave it up like this, that makes it difficult for me to be able to stay away. I'm going to count to 20. This is not 20 seconds. This is a beat of 20. One, three, four, five, six. In my head. And I'm going to release her at 20. I'm going to click and give her her cue. Free. And then she knows that she can come to me and get her reward. Now, if your dog um, releases themselves before you get to the 20, let's say they broke at around 10, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set them back up and release them at eight. So it would be Matt, stay. I would get to eight and then be able to say three and then she could get her reward. We're gonna set them up for success and build our time. Now verbal distraction is exactly that. When I have been sitting here training the whole time, you've noticed I'm talking to you and she doesn't break or stay but your dogs don't know that yet. So when you ask them to sit and tell them to stay, have a conversation. You don't have to stare at your dog. You can look up into space like you're talking to somebody else if there's not somebody there. Most people don't know how to talk to their dogs, so I suggest you build a Subway sandwich or a pizza. So you would tell them to stay. So I think tonight we're gonna go to Pizza Hut and we're going to have extra cheese and pepperoni and olives and pineapple tree, and then release your dog. Sometimes you'll have to start off with just a couple of words and then you can work yourself up to whole sentences and they're only listening to be released with free. So this being our last, our last episode, the way this works is you're going to send your dog to your mat, go to your mat, sit, stay. Then I can have a conversation, I can open up the door, tell my company, hi, how are you, come on in, my company comes in, oh, what a good dog you have. They, they pet my dog while it's on the mat. My dog's not jumping all over him. She's not door dashing. And you have that perfect dog. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us.